Hey everyone, just thought I'd do a little quick video while I was feeding the horses this afternoon. Look at this little beauty, her name's Bay Lassie. She's having a good old feed. I wanted to have a chat about where our focus is at the moment. And I remember when I was suffering from anxiety and panic attacks and I remember where my focus was. And when I mean focus, I mean your thoughts, your focus, the things that you think about, the things that run through your head. You know, I, I was always focusing outside myself on what other people were doing, what other people would think of me, what this means, what that means, what if this happens. And I think it's a really powerful thing to feel into and think about where's my focus. Because in this day and age, we're either focusing on what we do want in this world and what we do want to create for ourselves, or we're focusing on our problems, what we don't have, what's wrong, you know? Look at society today and how a lot of people are, you know, following the Kardashians, a certain, you know, young people today and you know, I look at that sort of stuff and it's just so superficial. And there's no power inside of these people. They're always trying to fix themselves. They're always focusing on what they don't have or what they can, how they can make their bodies better or whatever it is, right? I don't have this, I don't have that. So the focus isn't on themselves and how they can create a life that they love and what they are doing in their life to give themselves that joy. I was thinking about it today and I thought, imagine if you went into a shop and you went up to the cash register and you said to the lady or the guy, I wanna buy this shirt. And then all of a sudden you thought, oh no, I can't afford it or whatever. Change your mind, don't want it anymore. And the cash register person said, Oh, did I do something wrong? You know, was it my fault that you didn't want to buy it? If they were like really unsure of themselves. That's kind of like how we act sometimes in life, isn't it? Like being unsure of ourselves and thinking about, oh, it must be something to do with us. Whereas at the end of the day, the person just changed their mind. They didn't want it anymore. So when we take the focus on uh, off us, it's not about us. There's so much more clarity in life when we take the focus off, oh, it must mean something about me if that person, you know, just did that or said that, instead of just being and just focusing on what we do wanna create in our life, the relationships we want, the friendships we want, the success we want, the experiences that we want, how we wanna feel it's so powerful in this day and age when, you know, sometimes we do feel a little bit powerless because we're in lockdowns and that sort of thing. So the only thing we can control is the way we feel and our thoughts. So I hope this video is helpful for someone today and that it really helps you always bring your focus back to what you do want in your life rather than what you don't have. You know, it's so, it could be so easy for me, anyone, to focus on what they don't have, you know, rather than really feeling so much gratitude for everything that we do have. Baylassie agrees. <laughs> for everything that we do have in our life. And I'm a huge, huge, huge advocate for gratitude, but not pseudo gratitude, deep, deep, deep gratitude. And if you haven't read The Magic, everyone that knows me knows I love The Magic because it is such a powerful journey on deep gratitude work. And I say pseudo gratitude because it's easy to be grateful for the things that we are grateful for, but when we actually concentrate on some of the tougher things in life and some of the things that we, we just take for granted, um, it's, it's so powerful to give you a little bit of a slap in the face, I guess, and, and bring yourself back to reality and, and what you do have in your life because we just forget, right? And we get so caught up in our 
little world and our problems and we, we forget to focus on how lucky we really are just to be, even be alive. Listen to these birds, they're just beautiful little lorikeets flying around everywhere. It's just, we're just so blessed to be alive and I just want everyone out there to just really remember that and that you are powerful. And when we give our power away, it's just so heartbreaking because the, there's so much power inside of us and we've just forgotten. We've really forgotten how powerful we really are. Look at that beautiful girl behind me. She's so powerful. <laughs> All right, guys. And yeah, if you haven't heard, I'm running um, an amazing eight day soul activation that's really gonna center you and bring you back into that power within that knowing that truth that certainty in your life that you're here for so much more than than you know what the kardashians have to offer <laughs> let's just leave it at that <laughs> all right guys i love you i'm gonna pop the um the link in the comments and you know I think it's just so important now to really go within that's pretty much it and if you want to experience my soul activation process for free just leave a little emoji or something below or a comment and um, I'll share the link for that as well as my course love you guys have an awesome day bye